Hello there and welcome back to the Hungry House Husband Show. Today I have for you chicken enchiladas with sour cream white sauce. Now, while the ingredients scroll up the screen here, I want to caution you on a few things. Definitely use low sodium chicken broth, definitely unsalted butter, and definitely, definitely do not add any extra salt or pepper to this dish unless you've tasted it already and it needs it. I tell you this because a lot of the ingredients, if you get them in their normal everyday form, for instance, regular chicken broth or regular butter, uh, they have a lot of salt already in them and the salt from the cheese uh, in this alone is more than enough salt. Uh, don't add any extra it will oversalt your food and it will not taste good. So, with that said, let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is add our chicken to a bowl. It's easy enough. If you use rotisserie chicken, uh, you can shred it or chop it, whatever your preference. I bake this myself with uh, just some simple pepper on top, uh, no salt. Uh, but uh, I like the shredded better than the chopped. It better texture, more evenly distributes uh, throughout the enchilada uh, so that you get some chicken in every bite. Now to our chicken, uh, whatever form yours may be in, we're going to add one cup of our Monterey Jack cheese. And then just go at it with your hands. Uh, mix it up nice and evenly. Uh, you don't want little pockets of nothing but cheese and you, little pockets of nothing but chicken. Uh, those don't make very good enchiladas. So go ahead, uh, once it's all mixed up, then get your tortillas and we're ready to start uh, actually packing the enchiladas. Now I'm in by no means a professional enchilada maker. Uh, but this is how I do it, uh, and it works pretty well for me. A small handful, I'd say probably about a third cup or so, uh, into the tortilla. Slide the top of the tortilla back to kind of compress the insides and move them more evenly uh, along the inside of the enchilada, and then into a pan. Uh, then rinse and repeat. So now that we have our enchiladas put together, it's time to work on the sour cream chili sauce. So in a pot, we want to melt our butter. And then once that's good and liquidy, we want to go ahead and add in our flour to create a nice roux. Now, this isn't uh, Cajun cooking, so we're not going to let it go to, to almond or dark or anything like that. Uh, we just want a good thickener. Uh, to start off with. So I would say cook it about a minute uh, just to get rid of the flour taste and then we're good to go. Now at this point you can remove it from the heat briefly to add in the chicken broth. And just be sure to keep whisking. We don't want any lumps from that flour. Uh, we want it to be nice and smooth and consistent. Now at this point, once it's nice and smooth, you can put it back onto the heat. Uh, we want to let it go for just a few minutes until it is thick and bubbly and uh, is starting to actually resemble a sauce. So here we are, thick and bubbly. You can see how it coats the spoon. That is exactly what we're looking for. At this point, you want to take it off, let it cool for about five minutes. And cooling it is not really optional. You definitely want to because once we put the sour cream into this, it's going to curdle if it's too hot. So here you can see our sauce. It's been about uh, seven, eight minutes or so. Uh, enough time for me to switch out the washer and the dryer. Uh, so uh, now that it is uh, kind of thickened, you can see it's got a little bit of a skin on top. Don't worry about that. That's from the flour interacting with the chicken broth. Uh, at this point, we can go ahead and put the sour cream in. Uh, now, I add uh, green chilies to this just because I like chilies. 
uh, and it adds a little bit of uh, southwest heat uh, to it. Real mild heat, but heat's heat. Um, my wife, who absolutely abhors anything that resembles spicy, uh, or super spicy anyway, uh, will uh, will eat these up uh, like there's no tomorrow. So uh, this is a great sauce. Uh, I use something a lot like it with a chimichanga uh, that I make. If you'd uh, if you'd like to see that, absolutely uh, drop me a comment and I'll make some. Uh, so go ahead and whisk this up till it's a nice smooth consistency. Uh, make sure that sour cream dissolves and then we're on to the next step. So this part is uh, absolutely the easiest. We pour the enchilada sauce over the enchiladas. Uh, be sure to get all the good uh, chili goodness and uh, just kind of let it ooze over the ends. Uh, that way you have a, a little reserve pool uh, so that you can uh, soak, uh, you know, scoop up and put on top of the enchiladas once they're served. Um, if you want to use bigger tortillas, which I would probably do next time, uh, then uh, I would definitely get the big, uh, I guess the burrito size enchil you know, tortillas. Uh, that, uh, that would work better just for me. Um, after this, go ahead and spread the rest of our cheese on top, and then we're going to actually bake this in a preheated uh, 350 degree oven for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes, uh, or until they're all the way heated through and the sauce is bubbling. Uh, now if you want to at that point, go ahead and turn on the broiler and just broil the top until the cheese gets nice and golden brown dice up our scallions. Uh, now here are the done enchiladas. Just a little uh, color, a uh, little mild flavor uh, for those that like it. If you don't, uh, maybe do uh, some cilantro uh, or what have you. And there you have them, chicken enchiladas with sour cream white sauce. It tasted great, uh, as long as you be sure to keep the salt in check uh, with the ingredients that you use, yours will come out great too. Anyway, I am uh, glad to be back. I have been gone for probably about two or three months now. I uh, had some lung issues and just life in general, and uh, I've seemed to be well enough to make this video so more videos shall be on the way and as always may your life and your food always have flavor bye bye